Yes. All right. I'm sitting here with, what's your name? My name's Alyssa. All right. You want to say how old you are, like where you're yeah, from, sure. just normal stuff? I'm 34. I'm from Delaware County. Mm-hmm. I um I do not have kids or anything like that. Um, basically, I've been out on the streets for over a year now. Okay. Living in Kensington. So. Okay. So how long, how, do you, how old do you say you are, 34? Yes. Uh, how long have you been getting high for? Um, over 12 years. Over 12 years. And, and what's your drug of choice? Actually, now that you ask me that, mm-hmm. I've been getting high for like 20 years. Yeah, those wow, years start to add up. Well, I come 12, <laughs> I didn't really tell you. you yeah. Know. yeah, so what is your drug of choice? My main drug of choice, opiates. Opiates, okay. So you were doing, you were here for the original heroin mm-hmm. before the fentanyl yes did you notice the the switch over to fentanyl when it was happening well i wasn't directly impacted on the street when it happened because i was upstate oh okay that's right, that's right. Okay. but i lost my sis when i was upstate okay. so you said you were in muncie yeah okay this was in 2017 I think that's the exact that's year right, right? Started, yeah I got clean at 2016 right before that yeah. all happened so yeah you're it was car right. fentanyl at the time mm-hmm. um I did not know you know how bad it really was because I wasn't out here until I lost her yeah she was from down here in Kensington no Delaware County Delaware County okay and it was a fentanyl overdose yeah yeah I had so many people are, are dying from that I like I said I had to Narcan, three people two days ago down here. It's, we just did before. That's why I was talking to you. Yeah. I, 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 the reason we're doing this interview is because I pulled up to see if you needed Narcan for the guy. Oh, yeah, abuses. that was you. Right. Yeah. That's wild. Is he right? yeah. <laughs> No, he got up. He walked, he, he walked away. Uh, that, that guy, Mike, he was a nice, he's a nice guy. Yeah. You know, he seems like he's real helpful down here, too. It was scary because, like, his eyes were like, mm-hmm. like, it looked like he was dead. Yeah, it's scary uh, seeing people like that. So, how many times had have you overdosed? Would you say with this fentanyl? Twice, Narcan, black both times. Yeah, like I don't know why I always had a very high tolerance with, mm-hmm. with opiates, but like it's crazy because the second time I OD'd, it was from crack. So it was just crack with fentanyl in it. Yep, and wow. now I know because I tried to quit doing fatty dope altogether because I had. Stopped shooting. We'll get to that. Okay. Stop shooting up. And, but I was trying to quit all the guys. So I was day two, nothing. No fentanyl on my own out here. I was doing really good. So I was smoking a lot of crack. Yeah. Who figures of all the times I OD, it was from smoking crack. That's so crazy. And it's scary because people don't do fentanyl. They think they're buying crack. Yeah. And they're dying. A, f- a friend of mine's uh, boyfriend... Uh, at school, college, did one line of coke like everyone does at parties at school. Yeah. Fentanyl in it and he died. It's crazy. God. It's crazy. So, did you notice when they started putting a tranquilizer into the into the drugs? Yeah, because I was waking up um, in places that I didn't know how I got there. Yeah. That's that- got to be so scary. Oh, my God. No. And, and you've dealt with um, sexual assaults down here before down here because of that right yeah so many times like and so many blackouts and like it's traumatic because some days i will be like oh my god i forgot that happened to me like you know yeah i know that sounds weird but like when you have a blackout like that and trauma you don't notice your your brain will act certain memories out yep and when you get triggered People look at you like you're crazy, but they don't understand you're triggered because when, you know, X, Y, Z happened, they said what you just screamed in my face. Yeah. Yeah. Trauma is a a huge, PTSD trauma is a a huge reason why people are down here Uh, and on drugs. I mean, it's, it's, you're just living down here on a daily basis. You're going through a lot of trauma. I know. So... Is this going to be your first winter on the streets over here? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. It's brutal. Uh, and has it been getting harder as it's been getting colder now? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. yesterday I uh, wake up with, with no shoes on. Yeah, just explain that. You said you were walking around all day yesterday with no shoes. Yeah. Not one person even would look at me. 
I've started to feel like I wasn't a human being. Yeah. Um. Oh my god. There's napkins down there if you need it. And like, when you get looked at, like you're gross. It sucks. You know, and like I was at SEPTA and uh, the lady's like, "Go ahead, you can go through." Cause I didn't have the shoes on or whatever. She was nice at first. Then I didn't know she had called the cops on me. Um, by my back. When they got there, she put a whole show on in front of everybody down there and basically used me for her own to make herself feel good, I guess. And she was like, because I said how this lady gave me $3 and she was the first one that acknowledged my being a human in days. And she was like, all you care about is money. And like, it was just humiliating. It was humiliation on top of humiliation. And like, I know that nobody's forcing me out here, right? But it's free to be kind. Oh, I, 100%. Uh, I, the, the stuff you guys have to go through on it, it blows my mind what you guys have to go through. Like I told you off the camera, I was down here for a month, maybe two, when I was partying real hard almost. And that, that little short time was, oh, oh my God. So I couldn't, couldn't only imagine what you're going through now. Well, the sexual part of it and the trafficking and the... Now, that. is that, do you have, is that, you, you do you trick to make money? Is that what, you, what Yeah, most of the time. Most of the yeah. time, okay. And you know what? I was like a little weary about admitting this, you know, publicly. It's, it could be, it's scary, you know, putting yourself but, out there. Um, it's reality. And, uh, it's my reality right now. And if people in my life want to, you know, shut me out forever because of it, then maybe they shouldn't be there. You know? I mean, what other ways do you have as a woman to, to make money to survive down here? Well, I could be getting a job like everybody well, else, I, I but I can't yeah. function. Yeah. No, I mean, as an addict down here, what other ways do you have to make money? Panhandling, maybe? Maybe that's it, yeah. Yeah. Like, you can't really do the scrapping work, like guys, you no. know, so you guys have tricking, panhandling. Yep, or selling works. Now, what do you do for, um, for food, eat, uh, food-wise down here? I barely eat, um, but usually they drop off food sometimes. Like the cold pack, stuff like that? Yeah. Like the jail cold packs they'll drop off? I survive off that, so I thank those people. Yeah. Man, it's so hard. How, when was the last time you tried treatment? Oh, man. Um, over the summer, right? But I got into a fight. Mm-hmm. And, um, what, at treatment? Yeah. And they, they, they aim at you? Or yeah. not kick you out, I mean? Yeah. So, I'm on a hold, and it's been hell ever since. I can't get in. Oh, so you're having problems trying to get back in because you caused drama. <clears throat> Do you deal with open sores right now? Yes. Now, like you say, you have multiple? All right, because you can't even get into a detox until they're fixed anyway. Yeah, I believe that is the case. Yeah, that is how it is. You have to go to the hospital, right? Uh, so where are you at, like, mentally? Are, are you are you okay being... Not okay, but... I'm not okay. Uh, do you want to get clean? Oh, yeah, I want to get clean, but I'm not going to lie and say it doesn't mess with me. Like, mm-hmm. I was in the hospital and um, last week, and, you know, I could have stayed, roughed it out, and just seen if, you know, they would maybe let me this time go to rehab, but I didn't, and uh, I got a little bit of money in my hands, and I left. Off to the races. Yeah, it's it's hard, man, especially when you're that early and getting clean and you got money in your hand. It's Yeah. It's the hard. crack is the hardest. Oh my god! I, I, I was talking to a girl yesterday about that, mm-hmm. and it's it's mental too. Oh, uh, it's the worst part. It's so that, and as hard as the physical withdrawal from opiates is, the mental shit you go through from crack is horrible. It's the worst. Mm-hmm. And you blow through your money more than you ever did on heroin. Yeah. What? If I just did fentanyl, I'd be fine. So you know? a lot of your money's going to uh, the crack then. That, yeah, that turned into my main like. So you're just basically surviving on the fat and smoking yeah. crack. Yeah. Okay. How much do you think you spend a day? 
would you say? On both? Yeah. At least 200. At least. Yeah. If I can. So you gotta, yeah. that's, you gotta get your hustle shoes on for that. Yes. <laughs> I never stop running. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> So do you have a couple more quick questions I'll let you go. Yeah, do you have positive support on the outside if you wanted to use it? Yeah. The family? Well Yeah, they do to an extent. Mm-hmm. No, that's not fair. It's not fair for me to say that. Just because they don't you know, give me handouts doesn't mean they're not helping me. Yeah. Every time I go away, they're there. Every time I go for help, they're front and center. So they're there when you're doing the right thing. Yeah, and, like, it's crazy because... They're not just enabling you to get high anymore. And these people that don't give two shits about me, I am being more loyal to them than my family. Yeah. It's fucked up. And I hate admitting it. I hate it. But it's the fucking truth. Oh, it's the truth. And, like, half the time, they won't even give me the time. I'll be like, what time is it? And they'll be like, like, it's different out here now. Yeah. I, like I said, I, I can't. It's a total different world from when I was down here. It's You guys are going through some uh, crazy stuff down here. I got punched in the face by a man three days ago. It happens to me a lot. And people are like, well, what are you doing? You know, I know they're thinking that. But, like, it's the drugs, too. Like, I gave him $3 towards something. And all I did was ask for my part in it, and he didn't want to give it to me. And picked a fight with me and punched me in my face. And there's nothing you could really do about that. He's stronger than you. And I was upset, because I'm like, where'd that come from? Like, yeah. what did I do, you know? Then you start hating yourself. Like, I'm at a point in my life where I hate myself. Because everybody else hates me, I feel like. So it makes me hate myself. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, I mean, it's obvious you're dealing with some low self-esteem issues right now. You're even worried about, you know, how your face looked, taking a picture. That's all normal, you know? You're, uh, you're going through some uh, rough times right now. Thank you. Um, all right, I'll be ending the interview now. I really appreciate I it. I did. No, you did great. I, people need to see, like, what you guys are going through on a, a daily yeah. basis. Like, you walked around Kensington all day yesterday with no shoes oh, on. No, was, oh, and then I couldn't feel my feet. I went to prevention point and literally had to sit there for two hours only for them to tell me that they don't have anything. Yeah. That's so crazy. Horrible. Well, like I said, we got. I have. I don't have shoes here. I have a lot of clothes back here. We're gonna oh, go through. Oh yeah. We're gonna go through. And, see what, and I'm gonna go get more, and I'll, I'll get a hold I'm of so you. So grateful. And now it's you know I'm grateful for you to do this interview because it's it takes a lot of courage to get to do this. Well, you and Mike left an imprint on my life today because I my mental health was really diminishing fast today. Mm-hmm. I was at my end, mm-hmm. and you just treating me like a person. Dude, like, you don't even know, like, you're going to thrive in, in this world because you actually care about the community, you and him. So... Trying to. Keep doing what you're doing, too, like... Yeah. Is it... Now, if I see you going forward, can I stop and get some more interviews? Keep I really up with hope you? you do. I want to. I'm trying to get sober. I want... What my plan is, is to interview you a year from now when you're sober and healthy. In a year, I will be. And then we'll go, we'll go out to lunch or something and yeah. make a video doing that. And you could shut up all the haters on YouTube yes. so that you're sober. I'm going to go to Boston Market. Let's go. Uh, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, Did yeah. you hear that? Boston Market. <laughs> Me and you date as soon as, uh, yes. as soon as you get sober. Okay. You know what's funny? It's, you're the third person, I think, that said they want to go to Boston Market. Oh, I love about. it. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, you have a good day, and I will talk to you again soon. Oh, you And we'll, we'll do the clothing thing now and all that. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. All right.